Hi, this is Phoenix, and I'm going to retrospect on one of my favorite books that I've written, which would be The Street Kid. The Street Kid is one of my favorite books. I am very drawn by the cover, which has a kid looking down the road that he's about to um, walk upon. I also like the back because it is a very beautiful phoenix, as you can see, uh, very fiery and determined. Um, the Street Kid is one of my favorite books that I have written because of its compassion uh, for um, the characters that I have, uh, the characters that were symbolic and representative of kind of the good that I would see in the world. Um, and I recommend this book, honestly, uh, if you have a chance, because even though it is long, it is highly emotional and I feel like it packs a punch. Uh, so with talking about The Street Kid, where do I begin? Well, I would definitely start off with talking about the style uh, the style is very specific uh, in some ways, inspired by uh, modernist writers, for instance, and experimental writers, uh, such as William Faulkner uh, and, and his stream of consciousness. I employ my own stream of consciousness in this book by having the book written in third person, but also um, interspersed with uh, parentheses that have first person, uh, first person narrative, um, but kind of very stream of consciousness with the thoughts uninterrupted uh, and and um, sometimes even incomplete. And I was really happy to employ that technique because uh, I think it's one of the most interesting techniques I've ever been able to implement in my fiction. And I feel like it did a good job at representing, representing Phoenix's inner thoughts because the book is from Phoenix's perspective, uh, even if it's in the third person. And there are many moments where you tap into his mind uh, while you were reading the stream of consciousness in the parentheses. Um, the book itself is split into six different parts um, and I don't necessarily need to go into detail of the parts but I did that because I wanted the six parts to uh, be framed and modeled off six major epochs in my life uh, starting from when I was about 15 years old and moving until I was about 22 years old. So for instance when I was 15 uh, the book starts off with um, its part part one, which is called Death Before Birth, and that is because being diagnosed with a mental illness and writing about this in a fictional setting um, definitely reminded me of a death before birth. So it was the idea that being hospitalized for me was uh, the beginning of a new era, but also a death of an era, uh, and it was um, essentially death before birth. Then there's the very last section of my book, um, which, I, which is called I actually don't remember, I'll have to look it up, um, but it follows um, Phoenix uh, at a slam poetry competition, I remember, it's part six called Postmortem, um, and anyway, so it follows my adventures at a slam poetry thing uh, when I was about 22 years old and it didn't go very well, uh, but that's okay, uh, because you live and you learn, but definitely that perspective in, this, in that specific part was filtered through my perspective then. Uh, of kind of the things that were going on in the, the very strange way in which uh, mental illness affects my life. And speaking of mental illness, The Street Kid was what I consider to be a healthy way of acknowledging and processing my emotions and thoughts and feelings about my mental illness. Um, writing the book was very cathartic because it helped me deal with uh, mental illness and understanding mental illness. It was very interesting how in the book, what was, what was a delusion in my real life uh, was actually a plot point and plot thread in the book The Street Kid. And I really liked how I was able to do that. There are many reasons why this book helped me, writing this book helped me process my mental illness. A lot of it is definitely the fact that I got to write about my experiences and filter, filter the experiences through my subjective perspective as well as through uh, my mental illness itself. Um, when I look at this book, uh, so I'm 28 now, uh, and I wrote the book when I was about 23 years old. Um, I would say that there are many things that I could say for sure, one of which would be the fact that I've definitely come a long way, and this book is definitely a milestone in that sense. Uh, it is a milestone with getting me to realize how much I've overcome, how much I've dealt with, and in a way, The Street Kid is the end of an era, even though it was written to be the beginning of an era. So I really like how... Like the phoenix, things come full circle, uh, things happen that are beautiful, and we process and we continue to learn and continue to grow. 
So I really see the street kid as a distillation of that specific period in my life of uh, coming to terms with all of the things that were going on in my life and had happened before, but also even in terms of, in terms of thinking about myself as an artist. Um, this book was supposed to be radical. I don't know if I succeeded in that because that's always a subjective thing and is there really such a thing as the avant-garde, of course. Um, but that said, this book really expanded my mind and it pushed me and um, the ability of me to grow as a writer and as an artist. And that is one reason why I'm really proud of this book. It was very interesting because I was getting at a point in my life where I was very discouraged with writing because of negative feedback and I literally decided to write The Street Kid um, much the way Faulkner wrote The Sound and the Fury because I was getting all of this rejection and I wanted to do something new and write something that I was determined to write uh, and break all of the rules. I literally was at a point where I was going to stop writing if I didn't write The Street Kid and in all, all honesty I prefer The Street Kid over not writing at all. The last thing I want to talk about is the wonderful characters in this book, uh, which ranges from characters from Gavroach to the Dark Kid uh, to um, Roach, who's another character, or Blitz. Um, there are all these characters that are in this book, and they definitely um, have expanded and evolved in my uh, bibliography. Uh, as I've written about these characters in further outings and different stories and different adventures, the Snake Angel is definitely one that I've returned to a lot. But these characters are really important because even though they were imaginative and they were a product of my imagination, writing about these characters and having Phoenix in this text, interacting with these characters was a very rich and dynamic thing for me because it helped me process um, all of the kind of imaginative tendencies that I had in my mind and that I hadn't necessarily um, confronted. There is a reason why I say that the snake angel is in my mind uh, or is my reflection and that is because he seems to be a product of my imagination and yet someone who was very real to me. And that's why The Street Kid was really important, was because it was pretty much the first time I'd really dealt with all of these imaginary characters and friends that I had over the years that were very subliminal, very unconscious, but that were certainly there in one form or another. So yeah, this is The Street Kid. There's much more that I can say about the book, but I hope that you will uh, instead pick up the book and give it a try. I'm very excited about this book. Uh, just in a general sense, but also in a very personal sense, because it fulfills something deep within me that I'm glad I was able to take part in. This is Phoenix, and if you're looking for The Street Kid, you can find it on my author page at amazon.com slash author slash phoenix underscore rises. Uh, I hope that you'll check the book out. This is Phoenix, and thank you for your time.